Now on day two, we decided to up the adventure factor by heading out to the man-made forest and doing some exploring. We have a pickup here, so it was very easy to imagine sort of, um, I don't know, extending just how far you could go by taking advantage of the 4x4 capability of the pickup and also loading a dirt bike on there so that you could further your adventure. I'm a daily driver of a pickup, so I know just how practical these vehicles can be. Um, the Navara is, uh, is one of those cars that are comfortable in the inside of the cabin, but you still have the practicality of a large um, flatbed on the back. You can load whatever you want on there. In this case, we loaded a dirt bike and we headed out to the Salagdoong man-made forest. of terrain um, you've got beautiful roads leading on there a variety of sort of gravel fire roads um, where you can take advantage of the great suspension of the vehicle switching from uh, two-wheel drive to four-wheel high to four-wheel low is very easy because of that selector that we have here on the Navara now this is a man-made forest that's been planted here in Sikihor. It is the largest man-made forest in Asia and it is full of Malave trees. It should be a lot of fun to explore on four wheels and on two. And just for variety, we took the bike down and um, enjoyed uh, a few forest trails as well. It was a great, great day. We had worked up quite an appetite, so we found our way to one of the highest points on the island and we enjoyed some of the local cuisine. This is a sinoglau. This is basically a kilawin or kinilaw with some grilled pork in there. Plus, we've also got some lechon kawali on the side, a personal favorite of mine. Mmm, man. Sinoglau is where it's at. That is a nice combination. Fresh seafood, grilled pork, sinoglau with a view. Don't miss dishes that feature fresh seafood like your kilawin or how they do it here. Uh, sinoglau where they add a little bit of grilled pork. It is delicious and just the perfect way to end an afternoon of exploring.